Assalamu alaikum. So I would like to show you how to connect your PHP to Oracle. Okay, since I've been receiving a lot of messages from from you, okay, on how to connect the PHP and Oracle. So let's take a look first. Okay, make sure you have installed the Zem control panel here. Okay, the Zem uh, application. So if you take a look at the config over here. If you click here, you you will see php.ini. Okay, from php.ini, then it will open it to you. But if you want to take a look on the folder, okay, go to Zam. Okay, where you install your Zam, go to PHP. Then inside here, you will find php.ini. Okay, php.ini here. Okay, this one. Okay, php.ini. Right click and open with Notepad plus plus. Okay, up to you lah what kind of text editor do, do you want to open it. Okay, then you can search for Oracle. Okay, search for Oracle. Then you will see, okay, you will see here extension OCI 8 underscore 12C. This is for Oracle Instant Client. And here, uh, please remove the semicolon here. Okay, please uncomment this one. Okay, then save. Okay, after you uncomment this one. And comment the OCI 8 underscore 12C here for Oracle Database 12C Instant Client. Then you save. Okay. Then you can close. Okay. The second thing that you need to do is please go to um uh, please uh, download the Instant Client Oracle Instant Client. Just Google Oracle Instant Client and and go for the first link over here. Oracle Instant Client download. Okay, so you can go to Instant Client for Microsoft Windows here. Okay, 64 bit depends on your machine lah. Okay, then if you take a look, uh, this is the latest version. Just download the latest version one, the basic package. Okay, it is enough. Okay, just download this this one. It will take a while depending on your internet speed. Okay. So once it is done, okay, just right click here. I will extract. Uh, here okay I will extract here then go inside this folder copy the uh, cut of copies up to you and it is easier if you go to your C okay then just paste into your C over here okay then you will see that your instant client is here so this is the uh, this is the um, link to your to your instant client Let's just copy this one okay so after we copy this one just go to your desktop okay find properties of your computer and go to advanced system setting if you take a look you will find the environment variables over here and take a look at path over here okay edit this path and add new one okay add new one so what is the where do you put your instant client just now okay that's why i copied the the url over here Okay, the path. Okay, then click OK. Then just click OK again. Click OK. Then after that, uh, we try to start our Zam. Okay, start the Apache only. Eh? Since uh, we just want to use the Apache. Okay, so... Wait. Okay, but before that, okay, let's stop our... Zam control panel first. Okay, exit the control panel. Okay, quit. Oops. Some, I don't know what, there's some error. Okay, but let it be. Okay. Okay, first, go back to your instant client. Okay. Go back to your instant client just now. Okay, so inside this one, uh, take a look at uh, OCI.ddl then OC Aura OCI EI 19.dll and also the Aura ons. Okay, copy this one. Okay, copy this one. Go to your Zam. Okay, copy this one. Go to your Zam Apache bin. Okay, then paste into this part. Okay, so if you don't have it, then of course um, it will be pasted here lah. Okay, but if you have it, just re replace the file. Okay, so once you replace the file, then we can start our our Zam. 
Okay, then we can start our exam. Okay, so if you start your exam over here. So once you start your exam, go to admin. Okay, so when you go to admin, you will have this local host. Okay, then go to PHP info. Okay, so if you have this PHP info, then just um, find the OCI 8. Okay, just find the OCI 8. So once you find the OCI 8, so if you take a look, if there is OCI 8 over here, means the Oracle is already been loaded into our Apache. Okay, so means the extension for our Oracle and PHP should be no problem already now. Okay. So once you get uh, the OCI 8 over here, uh, what you can do is go to your Zem uh, Zem folder again. Okay, inside the HD docs. Okay, then I we need to test database. Okay, so I already have the test database.php over here, the PHP file. So if you take a look, um, let's take a look on this part. Okay, so please code this one. We open the PHP tag. Okay. Then uh, put the variable user, the user is HR. So right now, since in my SQL developer, so I don't have any new uh, new user yet. Okay, I don't have any new user yet. So that's why uh, we just use uh, HR user since we have the HR. Remember, the username here is HR. Okay, the user is HR. Then the password is system. Okay, then host, localhost, slash, slash, XE, or XE. The same thing like what you have uh, when you want to create the connection. Okay, the same thing. Okay, localhost XE. Okay, then if you take a look, this is uh, how we do variable for DB connection. Okay, OCI connect. So since we need to use OCI 8, so we use OCI connect uh, user. So this is the username, the password, and the host. Okay. Then if uh, the DB connection is not, if, then if, if it's uh, not connected, then of course we give the error message lah. But if it's connected, then we echo Oracle database connected successfully. Okay. So after we have this one, then we can try to run our test database.php in our, in our browser. So localhost, okay, localhost slash, what is our file name this uh, test database dot php okay so see if i run this one they say that oracle database connected successfully so means now i am connected to i am connected to uh, hr schema okay i am connected to hr schema okay so but if you have your user your your password and so forth then of course you need you can uh, you can uh, do the connection over here lah. what's your username your password and so forth okay so i guess after you get this one so like i said just go back to your um, user okay just make sure that you have created your user the password Okay, uh, in your Oracle Oracle database. So it is in lesson eleven. Then I will show, I will show you later lah during our lesson eleven on how to create new user and so forth. Okay, but if you want to know faster, you can go and check the lab notes. Everything everything is clear over there. Okay, so I guess that's all for now. Thank you. I hope you can understand on how to connect the PHP with Oracle.